It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, the neighborhood, the neighborhood. <laughs> We're on a bender this week. It's been uh, it's, it's supposed to be nice all week, so um, yeah. Anyway, on with business here. Uh, last time we spoke, uh, I took you through my fridge because I'd just done a big shop. And it's the same day as I record this. Um, and I just, the video was getting too long, so I figured today, or on this po post, we would go through my freezer. You can see all the stuff that's in my freezer. Uh, and then the next post, we'll go through my pantry, maybe in two stages, I don't know. We'll see how long the video gets. So let's go to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen we go to look through my freezer. So here we go. Here's the fridge. I keep a little picture of one of those mindset things. I keep a little picture of the girl with the ultimate body. I think she's got the ultimate body um, on my fridge to keep me constantly reminded of what I'm trying to do with myself or what I, where I'm at and what I'm trying to continue to achieve. All right, into the freezer we go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said in the last post, it's a small apartment, so it's a small fridge, uh, which makes it hard to like get everything in it that I need to keep in it. So let's start in the doorway here. Um, these look like little yogurts, but they're not. The, uh, I, not long ago, I opened a can of beans, uh, black beans, so I could make taco salad, and it's too much for me. So I just, uh, I just mark an old yogurt container and split the package up into single servings and put it in the fridge. The ones that don't have tags on them are actually spaghetti sauce. Say, I do the same thing with spaghetti sauce. So, um, Oh no, that one cracked. Maybe I gotta rethink the way I store my stuff. Shoot. Oh well. Anyway. Um, so, oh, and this is uh, ch uh, cheddar. Uh, the same thing with cheese. When I, um, hold on a second, I gotta pull this out, I'll show you. When I, when I make cheese, when I get cheese, uh, I, gr I, I grate the whole thing and put it in a plastic bag and put it in a paper bag and put it in the freezer uh, and then just use bits as I need it and it just takes a few minutes for it to thaw. I just stick it on a little plate and thaw it when I need it. So um, that's how I do cheese. Uh, my parmesan, that's how I do my parmesan that I like to put on pasta and that's what I do with my cheddar as well. It's just too, too big a package for one little person to go through without it going bad. So that's how I manage that. Okay, all this green stuff you're seeing? Yeah, frozen grapes, man. I eat frozen grapes like crazy. It's an awesome snack. It's low cal and it fills you up. It makes you cold, which helps you burn calories faster. By the way, did you know burn, being cold helps you burn calories faster? So I've got frozen grapes coming out the yin yang in here. Uh, what else we got? We got, um, this, is, this is frozen blueberries that I like to uh, put in my pancakes once in a while when I'm uh, making my cottage cheese oatmeal pancakes. Almost out of those. Uh, frozen organic corn. Um, make sure I got the organic kind because I don't want anything GMO in my body. Um, that's for my taco salads. I, it's the only time I ever use corn, really, unless I'm eating corn on the cob in the summer. Um, these are wieners that I repackaged. I purchased a package of 12, but again, it's too many to open the package, just leave in the fridge, goes bad. So I repackage it and put it in the freezer. Um, these are organic, uh, all meat, no, uh, no, no filler, no crap. I forget what brand it is. I think Maple Leaf is the brand that made me happy. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have it in the States and other countries, but Maple Leaf might be a Canadian brand. But uh, anyway, there. I think those are, these might be beef wieners, but I also get chicken wieners sometimes. Uh, okay, this is another one of my little storage things, brown rice. I uh, When I make brown rice, I make a bunch, and then I package it into little single servings that I can just quickly thaw, just, that I can just quickly thaw and throw in a stir fry when I'm making stir fry, so that's what I do with rice. It's just easier than waiting how, what, however long it takes for rice to cook um, than every single time I want rice. So shrimp, this is raw shrimp, um, raw frozen shrimp. Uh, there's no shell on, but there is a tail on. I love throwing those in stir fry and oh my god, or on the, on the barbecue or I don't know, everything. I love shrimp. I love shrimp like crazy. I So I have a lot of it. This is um, looks like it's got a little bit of free extra ice in there, but this is just baby shrimps, no shells at all. Uh, just thaw them and eat them with the cocktail sauce I showed you last time. So that's a bunch more, um, a bunch more frozen shrimp. Now this is how I keep my meat. Uh, when I buy meat, I repackage it immediately. I cut it up into single servings and I repackage it. So, and I've got, I've used these styrofoam things a million times, so I've relabeled it a million times too. So I've got, this is a chicken drumstick and, and thigh. And this is ground bison. So let's just go through my meat here, and then I'll show you how I package it. Because this is the best way to keep it from going, uh, getting freezer burn. So chicken drumstick or thigh, uh, ground bison. You just saw that. 
uh, beef steak. So I get sirloin usually. Um, bison steak. Uh, I eat a lot of bison. Bison buffalo. Maybe you call it buffalo, but it's actually cooked bison. Um, ground beef that I use. These ground beef and ground bison I use in in, um, in my taco salad quite often. This is uh, pork pork chops. Organic pork chops. Oh, by the way, all my meat is organic, you guys. I don't buy anything but organic meat or wild caught seafood. Uh, chicken breast. I got a lot of chicken breast right now because I stocked up because my market was closing for renovation, so I stocked up. So chicken breast, chicken breast, um, and more bison steak. So that's all my meat. I'll show you now how I package it very quickly. Let's just close this thing so I'm letting all the heat all the cold out. Um, okay, so I'm trying to do this with one hand because I'm holding the... Uh, <laughs> putting everything on the counter to show you guys it's in my freezer. Uh, so I try and do this with one hand. So what I do, hold on, bear with me here. What I do is I pack, I cut it up, I package it into single servings in a baggie, and then I put them all in, all, of, all together, inside styrofoam, and then I hold it together by putting it inside a plastic bag, and then put it in the freezer. And I find that the, the plastic and the styrofoam, and then the more plastic and the styrofoam on both sides, not just one side, but both sides, really really does an awesome awesome job of guarding against freezer burn um i don't remember the last time i opened one of my meat packages and it had freezer burn and i keep some meat sometimes for more than six months so so yay um this is some wild caught salmon nuggets that i bought at the farmer's market in the summer and i kind of stocked up because the farmer's market only happens in the summer and they're closed now uh for the winter so i um i bought a few but it's uh, maple syrup and salmon smoked salmon and it's wild caught and um the guy who sells it at the market is the guy who ca actually catches it <laughs> which i think's awesome so i know it's natural and whatnot um there's my green tea sitting there for me to drink it always got green tea on the go always uh if you don't believe me there you go i like to drink it with a straw it's just me i'm kind of weird uh, okay, so uh, frozen lemon. Someone told me that it would be a cool idea to freeze a lemon and then just grate it on top of your food uh, every time you eat something like yogurt or whatever. I'm not finding that to be such a great idea. I'm sure you get lots of nutrients out of that. I mean, rind and all, by the way. I'm sure, I'm sure you get lots of uh, nutrients out of that, but nah, this taste doesn't really wow me. I'm not a big lemon fan anyway, so it's been in there for a while. I don't really know what to do with it now. More shrimp. This is, this is uh, sort of dipping shrimp. The smaller shrimp I think I showed you earlier were better for tossing and stir fried and stuff. Um, but here's some larger shrimp, good for dipping into cocktail sauce. Like I said, I love shrimp. Um, okay, more frozen grapes. Yes, we'll just move those out of the way for now. My favorite bread, I almost never eat bread, but when I do, uh, it's squirrely bread. It's sprouted grain bread, um, sprouted organic whole grains, and lots of sesame seeds on it. And it's not very good for sandwiches unless you toast it because it is pretty dense bread. So I find it better toasted than than not. And again, bread, a whole loaf of bread goes bad too fast for someone like me, so I keep it in the freezer. I haven't actually touched this loaf in probably more than two and a half months now. Um, I'm trying to strip off my birthday weight at the moment. <laughs> I put a couple pounds on over birthday. I mean, I, th those pounds are gone, actually. That's not true. But uh, I'm still trying to get leaner than I am right now, and bread doesn't help. So I haven't actually touched it in a long time and uh, nor have I touched pasta in a long time uh, stabilized rice bran I like to put this on my yogurt it's not the tastiest stuff but it's good for you um, so I throw it on and I sort of grin and bear it I, I'm used to the taste now so it's not that big a deal but I think most people would not find that very palatable at all uh, you can toss it into other things though you can toss it into pancakes and um, stuff like that you can toss it into smoothies too I've tried that it's not bad smoothies you don't even notice it it just makes it a bit thicker um, okay, so, all right, bear with me for the shrimp, man. I, I totally stocked up on shrimp because it was on sale on my last shopping trip. So, yeah, a lot of shrimp. <laughs> all right, there's some more of that salmon candy. I know I gotta, I gotta eat some of that sometime, but um, it's pretty caloric. It's tasty and it's yummy, and I did stock up because it's wi um, winter now and I can't buy it right now. But um, unless I go searching for it across the or across the city where his storefront is. Um, but it's really caloric because of the maple syrup that's added and uh, at the moment it's not part of my plan so i'll eat it eventually um, you know, but right now i'm just trying to keep my calories super low uh, i like these frozen raspberries a lot for throwing into yogurt um, i let them thaw a teensy bit and then they get a little bit juicy and then i throw some yogurt on top and it's mm -mm good so that's a, that's a yummy thing oh, i got a lot of stuff in here hey oh that's a little bit more of that stabilized rice bread i just showed you i don't eat packaged foods very often but when i do um, it's almost always Amy's brand. Love her stuff. 
Um, this is for when I'm really, really just in a crunch and I gotta get something in my belly, something dinner related into my belly and out the door um, to something. You know, I don't want to go hungry. I'll just, I'll just nuke one of those and eat with a piece of bread and that's that. Um, as well as her burritos are great. You nuke it for three minutes and you add some salsa, like I showed you in my last post, the Roja, 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 Roja salad, uh, salsa, um, however you pronounce it. Add some salsa, maybe some some chopped up uh, avocado, and mm -mm, go. So, um, oh look, my coffee's, I'm chucking that out. Look at my coffee. I quit coffee about six months ago, and uh, I forgot I had that in there, so it's garbage. Um, more of that salmon that I told you about, that candied salmon, and then an ice pack that I just keep there, and you never know if I get an injury or something, it's always good to have an ice pack in the fridge. And then these things I buy at Safeway, sorry, he wrapped it up, I don't know why, um, that are awesome too, that are creepers, creepers, you really wrap this up. Uh, I buy a bunch of them, stick them in the freezer, and then sometimes when I feel like having something tasty and healthy, it's a salmon and crab uh, pinwheel, and you just stick it in the oven for um, 20 minutes, and it's good to go. Uh, it's really, really good, and it's 275 calories. Awesome. So put a salad on the side, and maybe a little bit of potato or rice or something on the side, and uh, stick that in the oven. It's a fast, quick dinner, and it's really, really tasty, and uh, more or less guilt-free. So, um, And it, they just come prepared like that at Safeway. So uh, that's... Oh, no, we're not done. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, guess what? More shrimp. <laughs> Oh, I gotta eat some of the shrimp. I ate, I bought a lot of shrimp this last time. Um, frozen peas. I like those in stir fry. Sorry, it's no name brand peas. Um, I'm gonna look for organic next time I buy peas. I don't use them very often. This package is probably about a year old. I only use them once in a blue moon. Um, but they're good in stir fries. Uh, uh, just wild salmon. It, it, I'm not gonna unpack everything for you guys here. This is just wild salmon. I just bake it with like. Um, some lemon pepper on it and uh, in the oven and eat it or I make it teriyaki style as well with some I know I don't eat soy very often but once in a while I'll throw in some maple syrup and some soy sauce into a, a, a bowl into a, an oven friendly bowl and throw in my salmon and um, make my salmon that way or chicken too chicken teriyaki is good that way too and then this is uh, all, the, all of these are just almost out I gotta buy more are a specialty a specialty order that I buy from um, the meat shop it's uh, skinless, free-range turkey breast ground up into 100 gram packages so that I can just take like a one package out and um, thaw it out and make taco salad. So I don't always make the same meats with my taco salad. Sometimes I make um, bison, ground bison, sometimes I make ground beef, and sometimes I make uh, the ground turkey. So once in a blue moon I'll I'll get some ground chicken, which isn't very often, but once in a while I'll get ground chicken as well and make a taco salad. So. Um, that's the freezer. <laughs> now I gotta put it all back. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas of, you know, to eat shrimp. <laughs> I eat a lot of shrimp. Wow, we I didn't realize I had that much in the freezer. Um, even though I did buy four packs yesterday, so I don't know why I didn't realize it. Anyway, so uh, no, I hope that gave you some ideas for ways, you know, things that you can buy and store in your freezer too, and snacks, and I mean, frozen grapes, great snack, and uh, frozen blueberries is great just to keep in the freezer and toss into your, you know, your healthy pancakes or your smoothies if you're a smoothie eater. Uh, I don't consume smoothies very often, almost never. Once in a blue moon, I'll have like an extra banana that's going bad, and I want to use it up. So I'll have a smoothie just so I can use that up because I don't want to eat it because it's too mushy just to eat, and I don't like to waste food. Um, either that or the banana will wind up in um, banana will wind up in some of my cottage cheese oatmeal pancakes with some walnuts as well. Um, I do like it that way as well. But anyway, so um, yeah, so hopefully that gave you some ideas of stuff that you can get and keep and healthier ways to eat rather than you know just picking up a bunch of packaged food or picking up a bunch of canned food or whatever. Um, if you're especially if you're looking for easy solutions and you know better ways to package stuff too. If you're Want to, you want to stock up on something, but you're worried about getting freezer burn and having things go bad and stuff like that. So anyway, so this, this, that's the end of this one. And uh, next time we'll take a look at my pantry and um, my spices and stuff like that. I'm not sure whether or not we need to do that one in two posts or not, but um, we'll get her done, all right? <laughs> we'll see you next time.